And of course, the other argument is that this essentially buys the UK a seat at the table in a region that is increasingly dominated by China. The real benefit here is possibly the ability to impact and influence the CPTPP moving forward. So how do you expect Britain to augur these relationships in its favour in the future if China does indeed join the pack? Well, I think anytime you can add larger economies, the agreement itself gets better. It's better for the current members if you have new middle powers who are being added, and particularly if you have middle, middle powers who are committed to integration, trade liberalization, uh, market access. That's the kind of environment and the kind of partners that you want to have. And without a lot of those kinds of partners in an agreement, it is harder for the overall membership to have an impact. It's harder for them to shape the future context in ways that benefits them. And so I think jo having the UK join is an important uh, player and an important message that the C CPTPP countries see trade integration as one key measure to lower uncertainty as we head into, as your previous speakers were talking about, increasing poly crisis. How do we resolve poly crisis? Difficult, but one step at a time and one way to do so is to use trade agreements like CPTPP as a key measure to lower risk and increase certainty about regulatory and rules changes at the drop of a hat and to provide sustained and stable benefits for companies to continue to do trade across the region. And of course, the UK has to do something in order to bolster its economy in a post-Brexit environment. So this was one of the options on the table and it has decided to do it. Deborah, what about some of the other major trade initiatives like the UK-US free trade deal? Where do we stand on that? I think that is going to be very difficult. This administration has already indicated their deep unhappiness with past trade initiatives like free trade agreements of the sort that is the CPTPP. So they're looking for new alternative models. Those new models are being tested right now, particularly in the Indo-Pacific Economic Framework or IPEF. Uh, and I think the U.S. appetite for doing any other kind of trade discussions is limited certainly while the IPEF is ongoing. So I think the UK-US discussions will be limited. They may be much more specific, sector specific uh, and, and narrow, uh, at least for the coming couple of years.